But see, we're all immigrants. That's what makes America great. You have to understand what America is. America is a country that wants the best shit. That's why we work harder than everybody else. Do we need a fucking Mercedes? No. We don't need it. But we want it. That's why we put in three to four hours more than any other country at the job. You go to real Mexico. I'm not talking about the fucking border towns. You go to real fucking Mexico. At 11 o'clock, they close everything down and they come back at two, three fucking hour luncheon. We're America, goddammit. You better have a microwave, bitch, because you have 20 minutes. You take a three hour lunch and come back, there's a fucker at your desk. Sorry, motherfucker. <laughs> you took too long, puto. I know you're Mexican, but you're not in Mexico. <laughs> because America has standards. Standards. They have never lowered the height of the fence that leads across the Mexican American border. <laughs> because we have standards, motherfucker. Everybody that has jumped that fence has picked really good fruit. <laughs> we have fucking Mexicans picking fruit in fucking Yakima, Washington. <laughs> Way in the fuck up there. Because that fence was high and they jumped it and went, fuck it, we're gonna keep going until we see Eskimos. As soon as we start lowering the fence, they're gonna fucking stop at Portland. Nah, too far. <laughs> See the people that know Portland and Yakima. <laughs> the pendejos. I thought Portland was uh, down there. <laughs> Some of you are fucking dumb, and I wish the white tiger would just <laughs> rah, fucking eat you. <laughs> Carlos, Carlos, I don't know where kings are in the world because I was never good at geometry. Some of you got the geography joke. Thank you for being here. A couple of you are going, Carlos knows, Carlos knows. <laughs> Let me give you an example of what America is really all about. America has standards. This is who we really are at our fucking heart and core. During the space race, we needed to write shit in space. The United States of America wanted to write it in a pen, but we did not have a pen that can write in zero gravity. So the United States of America spent $30 million inventing a pen that can write in space. Russia just used the pencil. <laughs> now a lot of you are laughing because you think I'm making fun of America. That's not it. It's just that that's the kind of people they are. We need to write in space. What do we do? Let's use a pencil. That's a good idea. Let's do it. That was it. <laughs> the American guy from NASA said, this is the United States of America. Not only do we want to fucking go to the moon, but we want to go to the goddamn moon in style. We want to get up there and we want to write in a goddamn fucking ink format. But sir, why don't we just use a pencil? Because we're America, you fucking asshole.